Hello and hi, my name is Dianko Kamaria, Pingiran Haji Draman. You may call me as Cam. Today I'll be sharing you the story about the movie man. We get excited when, you know, orang kampung say, Malama ni ada wayang. Mind you, kampung air or our water village. That during those times there was no electricity, yeah? Like most kids, we will wait anxiously for the movie man to come to kampung. Every kid will be on the lookout for him to arrive and watch him set up his equipment. For the teenage girls, these are the times to look for a match of their life. Besides people in our kampong, it will always be our neighbouring kampong who comes to watch the movie too. So you know what, getting ready, you know, getting dressed up, and you know, looking forward to the movie is always exciting for us. My grandma would always tell us, Mandi dulu, mandi ta, kalau indah na sampat liat wayang, to take our shower first, or else we won't have time because it's too dark by then. Dinner would be served early too, around 5.30. And the rest of the village kids would rush from school as most schools were within walking distance to our village. The nearest one would be Sekolah Laila Manchanai. Years later, the school would burn down due to a fire in the village at Kampung Lorong Sikuna. Before the arrival of TV in Kampung Ayer, the mobile cinema was commonly seen among going from Kampung to Kampung. Vaguely, I remembered the men to be Chinese. Because the men in our village spoke to him in a funny accent. Orang Melayu macam, orang say, macam cakap, Apek berapa lama sudah bikin ini? Macam mana Apek dapat ini? Yeah, the accent are different. You know, when a local and a local speak, they will speak differently. The venue and equipment for the movie was already set up at my eldest uncle's home. Pak Ji Amit's home, as he has the biggest pantaran or community area, nearly as long as his house. The kids would gather around the movie man as he sets up to watch what he's fiddling with. The projector that he used was not hand cranked, but was motored by a generator. There were times when he ran out of oil. Hiya, tidak ada minyak, and everyone took this opportunity to rush home to go to the toilets and have a quick drink at their homes, more like a movie intermission. Movies in the beginning were in black and white, you know, macam cerita bujang lapok. The film reels were also in black and white. And they were fitted into the projector. You see, most movies during the time has no sound except for the sound of the rolling of the reels. You could hear him. <coughs> Unfortunately, no popcorns, also the water, just chuchur and kueh melayu, or tea and coffee were served. The kids sat in front, some lying down covered in their sarong. Their sarong is used as a blanket with their bantapeluk or bolster. Some lying down on their parents' lap. By the time the movie finished, most kids were fast asleep. Some of these movies were between 20 minutes to 45 minutes. Haha, <laughs> parents had to carry the kids home. The ladies would sit in a group chatting and some would be crocheting or knitting at the same time. Can you imagine that? Watching movie and your hands are moving around. The elderly ladies would be chewing the sire or betel nut leaf or make, smoking the cigarettes made of tobacco leaf. At those times, it's quite common to see older ladies smoking, but their leaves are down, you know, they use the, the leaves of the tobacco. Some family would be folding their laundry as the extended the family is big. Some are about 9 to 10 families in their home. The longer the house, the longer the family. The men would sit together chatting about their daily routines, about fishing, shrimping, woodwork and such. Some with a cigarette in hand and a cup of coffee in another. During those times too, those ladies who are in their 40s and 50s, they consider as old. So it is quite common to see them smoking tobacco. Yeah, They will roll the tobacco leaf and smoke. Laughter could be heard if it was a comedy or cries among the ladies if it was a sad movie or a romantic one. Years later, we watched black and white movies with Piramli and with sound. Now we can hear sound. In the past, there were no sound. Movies were also played during HM's birthday at the Padang. People will cry around this area. The mobile movies actually cease to stop yeah, once the villagers can afford to watch movies in the comfort of the cinema. So during, I think, around the early 1970s, watching movie then at the Bumpang Cinema was just about 70 cents to $1.50 or $2 per person. The Bumpang Cinema was one of the favourite and it was a hang-up place when I was growing up and buying my first Coke float, which was only $1.50 which was considered a 
expensive then. Yeah, but nowadays you get drinks and other things for five dollars. That was, you know, people say it's cheap, but a dollar fifty during those times was so expensive. There were tuck shop at the foyer of the cinema too. By the time I was eight, there were cinemas built everywhere. The most craziest incident I had at the movies: a rat ran over my shoes and several of the moviegoers. At times, you have to be careful for cockroaches and even cats. TV came into the village around the late 1970s, when there were electricity in the kampung. Again, we gathered at my grand uncle's house to watch TV. This time, it was his sitting room. There were no furniture. Sitting areas were used for prayers, as most bedrooms were packed with children. I would normally sweep the whole area and find myself a corner to curl up, cause I was one of the few who would doze off before the program finished by 10 p.m. Here too was a place to chat with my cousins. Who was staying here? I miss the old days of sharing and building Siratul Rahim. I hope you enjoyed today's series. Till we meet again, I see you next week. Bye. Once upon a time, the story of a kampung girl, produced by Zura Zainal. Until we meet again, here wishing you with a memorable experience.